Before I begin, some things to know about this video. Number one, it's not a full character analysis. To do that would require a ton of research, rereading, rewatching, and tons and tons of notes. It would also take much longer than an hour to get through. Number two, in the interest of not doing all that rereading and rewatching for the sole purpose of analyzing his character, I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. So it's not even a full analysis of his flaws, just a couple points to prove that there is logic behind my madness. Number three, this one is very important. I'm not just trying to say he's a perfect character. I'm not even trying to say he's Superman. Jesus Christ, guys, I don't like Superman. I don't hate the guy, it's more of an indifference. But if I don't like Superman, why would you think I only liked Goku because I thought he was Superman? Number four, this is my personal interpretation of the character and it's based on his actions and expressions. If your only argument against me in any given instance is, but in the Japanese manga he said this, and it doesn't actually change my thoughts on a scene, I will point you to my first video on this channel. Now that all that is out of the way and we push the crybaby elitist to tears by saying I don't care about what was said but rather what was done, let's get started with my first point. Goku is not impervious to making selfish decisions. It's not impossible that on occasion he chooses to do something for selfish reasons. I'm not trying to say otherwise. I'm only trying to say that Bulma is a better example of a selfish character than Goku. While with Goku it's left in the air, Bulma has this habit from the very beginning of Dragon Ball to monologue to herself about her motivations. She doesn't hide that she's making decisions for selfish reasons. Something I've noticed in my time of being in this fandom is that people love to jump and attack Goku for every little thing. Even a lot of his fans just love to make him out to be a problematic asshat of a character while ignoring the problems of the other characters, like Bulma straight admitting from the very beginning that she lied to Goku about being able to get his Dragon Ball back after she steals the one wish for herself. Seriously though, this one scene bugs me to no end. This kid has been living alone after the death of his grandfather and his main coping mechanism for this is to keep said grandfather's treasure, the 4 star Dragon Ball, and to talk to it. This is a bit of a tangent, but did no one else recognize that this is very similar to the Japanese practice of having a shrine in your house to lost loved ones? No picture, but instead an object that was personal to the dead family member. Bulma knew how important this object was to him. Goku made it clear that this was his grandfather and that he didn't want Bulma touching him, but she didn't care. She just wanted her wish. A wish she wasn't even sure what she wanted to use for at this point. Let's also not forget that Bulma acts more like a selfish person and that when things go wrong, even if by all accounts it's her fault, she pushes the blame on others. She's the epitome of the Your Fault song from Into the Woods. While Goku, on the other hand, is quick to take responsibility. He's a very honest character. He's honest to himself, he's honest about his thoughts and feelings, and he doesn't hesitate to accept blame for something that might not even be his fault. When asked about Mercenary Tao, Goku's response is, yeah, I defeated him, not, yeah, I might have fought him in one, but he killed this little boy's father, so really he deserved it. Selfish people don't want the blame for anything on them. They see themselves and their reasons for their actions as more important than others. I guess now is as good a time as any to explain the difference between a selfish action and a selfish character. A selfless person could very well do a selfish act from time to time, especially when they're not Superman. Honestly, if anything, by making a big fuss over Goku realistically not being perfect and having a selfish motivation every once in a while, you're the one comparing and demanding he be Superman. You are saying that because he isn't as selfless as Superman, then he can't be selfless. You are saying that committing the most selfless act in the world, not once, but twice, the act of sacrificing one's life for others, doesn't count because, oh, he let Vegeta live and said himself that he was being selfish there. He's a human being! Okay, he's saying you know what I mean. Everyone on the planet Earth has had the urge to be selfish constantly, and everyone has given in to that at least a few times in their lives. To me, to say Goku is a selfish person is to say we're all selfish people. Deciding whether a character is a selfish person or not goes beyond listing their selfish actions. Since I brought it up already, let's go ahead and talk about the one undeniably selfish action of Goku's, asking Krillin to let Vegeta go. Now let me explain why I don't think this proves for a second that Goku is without a doubt a selfish character. The way I see it, selfish people don't admit they're selfish. Like I said before, they don't take responsibility for their actions. Their favorite game is the blame game. Anything that makes themselves look like martyrs to everyone else. Selfish people will never be convinced that they are selfish because they can give you at least 12 excuses for why that one selfish thing they did wasn't selfish. 
In this situation where Goku is selfishly asking Krillin to let Vegeta live, if Goku truly were as selfish as everyone thinks he was, he would be begging Krillin to let him go and trying to convince Krillin why it's for the best even while knowing he's bullshitting his way through. Like giving some lame out of character and out of place speech about forgiveness and making anyone who would think about killing Vegeta right now out to be a heartless monster. Oh wait, isn't that what the English dub did? Did I just say that the Blu-ray Funimation dub made Goku out to be more selfish than the manga? Yes. Yes, I did, because in this instance, it's a very selfish thing for Goku to let Vegeta live, and there's no use denying it. But by having Goku deny it, by saying stuff his character would never say, it comes across as him trying to hide the fact that it's selfish under the rug and point to Krillin as if he's the one being selfish here. A selfish character wouldn't want you to know they were selfish, so they make their selfish actions out to be as selfless as possible, even to the point of convincing themselves sometimes. A character who isn't selfish would willingly admit that they were asking for something in their own interest and yet still leave the decision to who they're asking the favor of. Like how Goku still lets Krillin decide whether to let Vegeta live or not after giving his spiel about wanting him to live so he can fight again. While we're on it, let's talk about the instance with letting Dr. Giro live to create the androids. I've had people point this out to me by focusing really hard on Goku admitting to having multiple motivations for his actions. Let's also not forget that people just love to ignore the context of this scene. As if context in anything matters, right? Nope, all that matters is the specific and accurate translation of two lines. Unlike with Vegeta, this isn't Goku begging Bulma to let Dr. Giro live. Bulma suggested that they do the deed, yada yada, Vegeta yells at her that he'll kill her if she tries it because he wants to fight, and then Bulma asks for Goku's opinion on it. Goku just says, I kinda want to fight them too, besides he hasn't technically done anything wrong yet. And then everyone agrees with Goku. Goku didn't fight to get his way, he was just honest about what he was thinking, which was two different things. Yes, he wants a fight, and no, he doesn't think it's fair to kill Dr. Giro yet. Goku didn't try to argue that they keep it that way, he just stated what he wanted. That's not being selfish, that's being brutally honest when asked a question. Honestly, to me, in this scene, Vegeta is the one truly being selfish here. He threatened to kill Boma just for suggesting they choose the safer route, and he wasn't sugarcoating that his only motivation was wanting the fight. This isn't a, is Vegeta selfish video though, so I'll leave that there for as, just some food for thought. I don't view Goku's motivations here as selfish, but rather reckless. Ah uh, yes, recklessness. The flaw I think everyone confuses with selfishness thanks to the 90s media. Allow me to elaborate. My sister was on a nostalgia high, so she and I watched, or rather half-watched, three episodes of Sonic Underground. Oh my god, y'all, this show is so bad. It's an awesome concept with the world's worst execution. It's like the American 90s version of Super. While watching, we noticed something interesting. Sonic did something reckless by attacking a monster without thinking about his team and how that would affect them, but after the test or trial or whatever it was, Mr. Hooded Guy here called Sonic selfish over it. My sister pointed out that a lot of media did this around that time, forcing the message that recklessness is equivalent to selfishness. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not. They are not one and the same. They are both flaws and having one or the other could lead you to the same place, but they are still different. Selfish, as Google will define, is lacking consideration for others, considered chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure, while reckless is without thinking or caring about the consequences of an action. As you can see, these definitions are very similar, so confusing one as the other isn't so unthinkable. Having merely a vague idea without thinking really hard and finding the difference between the two could very easily cause them to be blurred together into one meaning. Committing a reckless act is about not thinking about how what you're doing could affect others or even yourself. It's about not thinking ahead. Selfish acts are about not caring about how what you're doing could affect others or even yourself while your only concern is getting what you want. Goku coercing Gohan into fighting Cell wasn't him selfishly ignoring Gohan's feelings, it was recklessly misjudging them. This is proven by his reaction to Piccolo telling him straight up in plain English what Gohan's thinking. Look at that face. Does that look like the face of someone who doesn't care about how this affects others? No, it's the face of someone who is so caught up in his own head that he forgot to look at the situation from others' points of view. All those instances where Goku was sure he could handle a situation, was sure everything would be fine, where he went easy on an opponent because he wanted a good fight, something he got from his first tournament. They weren't because he was selfish. It wasn't because he didn't care if anyone's life was lost because of his actions. Goku isn't Vegeta. Those moments where Goku messed up and caused a lot of problems for a lot of people were about recklessly misjudging the situation, not selfishly ignoring the situation. 
In the definition I gave of selfishness, it says pretty clearly that the motivation behind the action needs to be based on personal profit. Goku not defeating Boo when he could because he wanted to leave the Earth with others who could protect it was not for his own interest. It was in the interest of making sure and recklessly assuming that the Earth would be perfectly fine without him. Honestly, considering how adamant he was on not wanting to be the hero, on wanting to give others a chance to protect the world, on wanting to remain dead because he was at peace with his decision, I could argue that accepting old Kai's life and fighting to beat Boo and remain the Earth's sole protector was actually selfless, because the result of an action is not how you define it, but rather the intent. So the next time you want to say Goku is a selfish character and you just point to a lot of situations that went sour because of his decision, take a moment to really study his motivation and decide if it's selfish or reckless. But what do I know? I can't speak or read Japanese. But left the hop alone, we would have been in trouble in the, in the first place. place. Well, she had you raised the whole first place. place. You raised the whole place. You raised the whole place. You're the first 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 place.